I'm Stuart Miles. I'm a software engineer on Firebase and Fun Propulsion Labs uh, with Wouter. I'm here to talk to you about Firebase today. Firebase is a suite of services to help you build unique experiences and grow successful businesses. So we're, we're part of all of the different stages of development when you're building your game. It helps you develop, grow, and earn more from your games, and many of the features are provided at absolutely no cost. I'll provide an overview of a subset of the features. So after working with our developer community for the past few months, I'm proud to announce today the 3.0 release of our uh, mobile SDKs for, um, for C++ and Unity developers that target iOS and Android. So you'll be able to access um, Firebase from your favorite game engine. And Firebase supports iOS, Android, and the web, and we have admin SDKs for your servers. If you're selling a premium game, you, it's valuable to measure user engagement to understand whether players will return um, or purchase your next release. This is especially important in freemium games where you might want to uh, measure engagement to make sure that users are you know, converting on your ads as much as possible or perhaps purchasing your app content. Firebase Analytics enables you to measure unlimited player behavior at no cost. Firebase Analytics provides a pre-built dashboard for common data analysis scenarios and implicitly captures events from your, like the first time your game is opened by a user, engagement time, retention, in-app purchases where it's possible, user demographics as well with minimum effort. And also you can log your own custom events on top of all of that. In addition, our dashboard allows you to define your own audiences, cohorts and funnels, and user properties. If our dashboard isn't sufficient for your needs, you can pull data using Google Cloud's BigQuery or into your own data analysis tools, or you could even use Google's Data Studio for data analysis as well. So try it out now. It's really, really easy. This is all the code that you need if you're a C++ developer. There is some build stuff if you're C++, but this is all you could need to get going with um, analytics. And this gives you all the built-in event tracking. In Unity, you just import a plugin, you write a couple of lines of code. This is the key one here, and you're off and, you're off and running. That's it. We also have Firebase Remote Config. It's an experiment framework which enables you to adjust game parameters in order to maximize user engagement. So you can deploy your game and you can adjust parameters without redeploying a new build. For example, if you suspect players are leaving your game due to your ad display strategy, you could run an experiment where you reduce the frequency of ad display or move, ad, or move your ad display points to see whether it affects user retention. Or perhaps people just prefer blue cats in their games. You can also use remote config to change any parameters in your game, like UI, ad placement, difficulty, or whatever you can imagine. We provide a web interface for remote configuration, for, so non-programmer members of your team can configure and run experiments, so game designers, operations teams, things like that. Um, in addition, Firebase provides push notification support, so we have cloud messaging and notifications that enable you to re-engage players, so this is trying to bring them back into your game. For example, if you've just added new content to your game, you could send a push notification um, to users who have completed, I don't know, a good chunk of the game to tell them to come back and try out the new content. We also provide a web UI for push notifications, again, allowing non-engineering team members to send notifications um, to players of the game. After notifications have been sent, we also have a dashboard that enables you to measure their impact. So we have a funnel report, and all of the analytics get bubbled up into Firebase Analytics as well, which can pull out, out into BigQuery. Um, to grow your audience or re-engage players, we provide uh, dynamic links and app invites. For example, a player could share a game where you feed sushi to animals, they click the invite button, they select who to share with, they'll receive an email with a link to the game, and then when they click on the, the link, it will install the game and provo uh, potentially provide them with a reward. You can decide what to do with the link yourself. Um, in addition, the player who shared can also be rewarded um, something for sharing the game. We have an authentication um, API that allows you to authenticate with multiple um, identity providers. Users can sign in anonymously um, and then later upgrade to an identify identity provider that, um, like out the box, like one of these, or they can use um, an uh, anonymous account. Um, we also have a real-time database which um, allows you to store game state, like available characters, maps, etc. Set updates are synchronized in hundreds of milliseconds, so you could build like turn-based games or just store data for your game in there. You could also do something like building collaborative editing of maps in a marble rolling game, like one of our demos, or you could build leaderboards um, with the database. 
Finally, Firebase Storage allows you to store large chunks of data that's distributed quickly via our CDN. It also allows you to set content protection rules so that you could do things like offer premium content. If you want to find out more, we're, uh, we've got a session on Firebase at 12.45 on Thursday, AdMob at 3 o'clock on Thursday, and you can also download demos. Also, check out firebase.google.com for more information. Thank you. Yeah.